Hey guys, this round we're playing against a, another green white deck, and this one has Lumber Knot in it. Um, Lumber Knot may actually be a pretty tough card for me. When I was talking about losing the roll being bad, the card that I should have been talking about was Devil's Play, not Geist Flame, which I drew my singleton of again. I think I still want a Devil's Play here, though. I think he has a lot of one toughness stuff like mare guys flame is going to be better against changed my mind i've seen some gas staff gat staff gat staff shepherds as well so we'll keep devil's play around for that guy or hamlet captain sure um could like take a hit from him like captain probably i think this is probably the best line because maybe he like plays mare pre-combat or something and then i can flash in snapcaster mage either way i am hopefully going to be flashing in snapcaster mage end of turn getting some sort of value out of that somewhere i guess i'm getting midnight haunted well on the bright side, I can give Geist Flame flashback for one until the end of turn, so if he decides to resolve Midnight Haunting right now, I can get one of them. But yeah, uh, the plan is just to trade Snapcaster Mage for that Hamlet Captain. This way, I have Dissipate up for a Garrick or something like that. Real. Uh, okay. I think I'm alright with that. I guess I'll keep taking two a turn until I get a chance to, uh, like, snapcast or dissipate, and then I'll have a blocker for that guy. Missing a land is definitely bad, but it seems better here than in other matchups. That's your best play. Okay. I don't know, maybe that's a good play. Maybe he should only be committing one threat at a time and making it big or something like that. Uh, also, maybe I should have traded Snapcaster plus Geist Flame for that right then, because I'm not doing much else with my mana right now. Tembler may be relevant at some point. Um, I think I'll wait to pull the trigger on Silent Departure one more turn if he wants to keep on just pumping and attacking in his turns. I'm pretty okay with that. He worked out the better way to do it was wait until I didn't block. Good job him. Return of the Hamlet, Captain. Uh, should we dissipate here? It's sort of an irritating Hamlet, Captain. Don't think we can. Sort of amazing how irritating that Hamlet Captain is. I mean, I'm trying to play around infinity things, 
perhaps if I was not, this would be easier, but I've also drawn three copies of Dissipate, which is fairly suboptimal in this matchup, I think. Just gonna lose to three spells, really? Doesn't seem like the best way to go out. Deck needs more copies of Forbidden Alchemy, I think. I've just gotten these very terrible, <laughs> awkward hands a couple of times now. Oh yeah, my oh my. Like, there's nothing I can do here. Dissipate is just so bad <laughs> right now. Okay, I'm gonna dissipate it on the way back, I guess. This time... Midnight Haunting? Let's dissipate that, then. Good. Oh, that's actually pretty good. If I draw land here, like all my problems are solved. I only play 26 of them though. Yeah, why would I draw land there? Um, I can still like... Temblor plus... Snapcaster Mage, Silent Departure. I don't know, my plays suck now. <laughs> I would really like to draw land. I don't know, should I just like take six next turn? That doesn't seem right. I think I have to Tamblor. And... Let's just say go. He's gonna get one wolf token, which I can ensure it departs silently. gonna actually let me cast Dissipate on something, maybe? That would be so wonderful. Sweet. I'd like to, uh, draw land again. Yes! Now I can Devil's Play your face. Devil's Play turns out to be a pretty good card. Garrick transforms. And I can Snapcaster... Silent Departure Wolf. I think that's better than leaving up Dissipate. I just, like, the wolf is... The wolf is already a lethal, a lethal threat because of Gavany, so... And even if he has Ranger's Guile there, I prevent him from pumping one turn. So there's a little bit of value. Now he's gonna, like, what? Do that for four life. Okay. So I feel like I'm winning all of a sudden, because apparently he has Nod of the Bone in his deck here. I'm at 
attacking before I desperate ravings, because he may do something to make me need to cast dissipate. I'm discarding the dissipate up to desperate ravings. Not doing very well with those of late. I think I'm just gonna play a land. I do have a Geist Flame in the yard for a Midnight Haunting, so... Even there, I'm not doing so bad. Let's think twice first. Oh, I have two guys Flames main, do I? Clever plan. him attack me if he wants to. Let's kill that with fire. that also, again with fire. And he wasted five mana. Whoop whoop. This is still game one and I've spent ten minutes. God, this deck is grind. Oh, I feel like this is the best deck in the format and like nobody will ever play it well enough for <laughs> that to be realized. I feel it is completely out of reach. I'm just gonna play my land, I don't mind discarding Geist Flame to Desperate Ravings. dies, right? I need to Geist Flame it at the end, but turns out I can do that. And he's going to have to pump it with the Township before I risk discarding my Geist Flame as well. I wonder if he's gonna, like, bring all his creatures back to his hand or something. Creeping Renaissance me. Oh, right, I have a Wrath of God. This is why Wrath of God worked its way out of the deck, because, as you can see, it's pretty good here. Better way to kill that than Geist Flame, awkwardly. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Might be wrong, I don't know. Probably it's wrong. He's gonna pump, that does not work. I'm not targeting that with Geist Flame, friend. doing this until he's dead, right? Oh, at some point maybe I should silent departure Snapcaster Mage, actually. Like, is it getting to that point yet? Probably it's at that point. Let's wait. This is greedy. 
he plays a Garrick though, I can kill it. I can just silent departure the token and stuff. That's gonna need to be Devil's Blade, I think. Oh, I could double silent departure and kill it actually. Probably I will do that. No, he has thing the jig up. Can't. It's unfortunate. Also, I'm just like totally dead there if he has Ranger's Guile, Jesus Christ. Fortunately, he hasn't had any time to draw it. Uh, when I sound Departure, my Snapcaster Mage, my Blasphemous Act will turn on. Get in. Maybe I want another drown yard. I haven't had colors be a problem early still. Care about that? Nope. Probably Temblor it and deal two to the face. Seems fine. Hoo hoo. More than two. actually dead, right? Um, I guess let's play around Nod of the Bone still. I had Morbid, so Brimstone Volley would have been lethal out of the yard. I don't see much wrong with just doing this. Brimstone volleying him and then silent departuring the Snapcaster Mage again. I'd like the game to be over because I'm worried about timing out. I'll be in the last round, the last match to finish every round so far this tournament, by the way. Just want you to know that I'm representing hardcore and all that. Chances that he gnaws to the bone here. Whew. Dodged it. So against him, what do I do? I guess, um, the normal types of things are probably still good. I think I still want at least one naturalize. I don't think I like boarding out Forbidden Alchemy given my recent experiences with the deck. Which leaves me boarding out what exactly? Snapcaster Mages and Dissipates. But they actually seem fine against these really clunky green-white decks. wonder if Grasp of Phantoms is good against them. Probably is. What's it better than? 
Snapcaster, perhaps. Ah, uh, this hand looks fine. It actually looks pretty good. As long as he doesn't do anything for the first several turns. Guess sometimes that's a problem. Oh look, I can even cast a spell next turn. On my way up to Burning Vengeance. A relevant spell. Uh, kill his mare. Is he gonna go mare and swing for... Two? No, get Staff Shepherd and swing for one. Shepherd seems considerably less whelming. I don't have three red. Can't flash that back for a while, I guess. not seem very relevant. Well, let's just play it. Sort of sucks for me if he has naturalize here, because I don't actually have another way to kill his creatures. Now drawn to something, I'm sure. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, for a turn. Coming in. Yikes. So let's see, let's um... I guess we're okay with discarding a land. Not thrilled, but okay. Oh, uh, is that better than like... Waiting until his turn to do that, like a normal person? I don't know. I have two copies of Dissipate in my hand. But I do not have enough mana for either. Anyway, at some point I should draw, like, a Temblor, or... Okay, I don't have enough mana for Wrath, but... I don't know, there's gotta be something that kills two creatures, right? In my entire deck. That card. That's the one. How many rangers, guiles do you have in hand? Can you save both of them? Dun, dun, dun. I can save that one. Alright, well... I'm less worried now. I have a Grasp of Phantoms in hand. Which may actually be good. I don't know, it's not terribly good here. Admittedly. It's a lot better when you, like, have something going on at the same time as casting it. Uh... I think I have Desperate Ravings, so I can leave up Dissipate... Dissipate and not flip his guy. Get to play a land, which is pretty sweet, and I think I just take two more. I feel like I can have Dissipate up for the rest of the game, and I'll have a Snapcaster Mage in play to block that very soon. So it's not super relevant. We're seeing, by the way, why I have absolutely no desire to play green-white. The mana is terrible, and even when it works, Man is still terrible somehow. Uh, let's Snapcaster. Ravings is probably better than a Think Twice here. Cards. Cards in my hand. We have to keep casting stuff, I guess. Let's cast this one. He 
Yeah, werewolves do not seem like they're going to be flipping much against this. What's happening to me? The mayor of Averbrook? No. Um, maybe I should have killed that even. I'm going to try to brimstone volley it. Ranger's Guile is pretty gross here. No Ranger's Guile. Yet. Okay. And I've just completely won the game. Congratulations, me. Let's, uh... Flashback, I think, twice, I guess. Don't see why not. Try to hit my land drop. Like that. What do these guys have in hand? They, like, always have two cards in hand. What are they? Avison's Pilgrims. They're all the Avison's Pilgrims in the world. It's pretty cool. I get to grasp of phantoms that. So if he has Midnight Haunting, I'm fine. So I guess I just tap out. Probably he's a Naturalize. I think I'll actually just keep my uh, Burning Vengeance. Well, no. If he has Naturalize, whatever, I've won. It'll just take longer. back at his face, I guess. I don't know why I left up one mana, because uh, I'm not going to be able to sound departure that if he rangers guiles it or anything. I'm repping Geist Flame, I guess. has two cards in hand. Gonna slow it down. Play a little safe now, because we just have the game completely on lockdown. The only way we can win is to, like, overstep here, tap out, let him do something absurd, and we lose. It probably involves Midnight Haunting, whatever it is. Uh, let's, let's see, can we Brimstone Volley him and then kill him with Dissipate Up? I need to have Dissipate Up. You can certainly start by Brimstone volleying him, that seems fine. Deal 5 to you, Brimstone volley, a 1 of in the deck specifically for this exact play. Seems like it's worth it. Could naturalize my own Burning Vengeance. That card's been really good for me here. Um, you're at seven. I'm one mana short, so I'm just gonna let him play one more turn. I don't see why not. I just don't want to, like, all in. He casts an the bone and then draws something amazing. Even with Blasphemous Act and everything in hand such that it probably isn't going to be an issue. Would rather just not deal with it. Okay, so now I only have to do it for one. So, yeah, that... Oh my god. That was such a grind of a tournament. Hope you guys enjoyed. 3-1 is not as good as 4-0, but... 
still pretty good. Maybe he has two of those. Maybe I'm like, maybe I should not be speaking quite so soon. God, I hope he doesn't. It'll make me have to play more. Oh, yes, I can stop playing magic. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Congratulations if you made it through all of those in full. Uh, I'll like mail you a badge. Number one fan. And yeah, uh, the deck seems good still. Uh, there's still lots of fiddly stuff to work out. Um, I think, like, my hunch is there's too many copies of Devil's Play in the deck. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty tight. Like, it's just... There are all these one offs that you sort of want in the deck, and there just isn't room, and then you'd sort of like more Forbidden Alchemies. And against the aggro matchups, you always want more copies of Geist Flame. Geist Flame, I think, is the best card there. I, I managed to fit another in, I guess, somehow. Like, probably minus one Devil's Play plus one Geist Flame would make a lot of sense. get rid of Witchbane Orb from the sideboard. I just think that's trash. Well, the reason it's there is the Mono Red matchup, because they bring in, like, Curse of the Pierced Heart, or maybe they have a main, I don't know, but if you cast it after they cast one of their Curse of the Pierced Hearts, then it just straight up trades for one, so even if they have Ancient Grudge, which I'm not sure they play, it's getting you some value. And if they don't have Ancient Grudge, you just turn off all of their burn and, like, win the game, because... The red decks don't have creatures that can really get through <laughs> against Burning Vengeance. Not many decks have creatures that can get through against Burning Vengeance. You may have noticed that during this tournament. Okay. Yeah. Bye, guys.